Decibels, DIY moldable earplugs, right now on Pirate Firearms and Reloading. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we are talking about something that's not exactly the most exciting topic in the world, but given our chosen sport of shooting, it's very important, and that's protecting our ears. Now, we've all got these big cumbersome, some of us have got the electronic ones, earmuffs. I'm not gonna knock earmuffs. I just don't like wearing earmuffs, particularly when it gets hot and humid here, they are just the most uncomfortable thing to wear. What I do really like is a nice custom set of earplugs. Now, up until decibels kind of came to the market, you had to go and see an audiologist in order to get custom molded earplugs. And what a lot of people don't understand is those custom molded ones, a lot of the earlier materials would shrink over time. Um, I can't speak for the, the current materials that they use, but they, they do, they shrink. So they wouldn't fit your ears properly anymore. You wouldn't get a good seal and you wouldn't get the um, sound dampening qualities. The other thing is, as you grow older, your ear shape will change. And so, Decibels have kind of come out with the answer. Now, full disclosure on this review, Decibels don't even know I'm doing this. I've paid for everything with my own money. Um, I picked up my first couple of sets of Decibels probably about five years ago, worn them ever since, been fantastic. They are so comfortable. And if you're worried about screwing them up, don't be, because you can remold them and this is the coolest part of decibels. So, they don't know I'm doing this, no money's changed hands, nothing's been supplied for free, I paid for the shipping all the way to New Zealand, um, and in my opinion, worth every dollar. So, let's start off. There's multiple different products they do. So, the, the basic one is just standard old block out earplugs, and you can see how this case has seen better days, um, and there's unfortunately a little bit of earwax on them. They're well used. Um, but basically, they're a custom molded earplug. Now, you custom mold them yourself. This is the coolest part. So basically, you take the molded piece, and I'll show you on the red ones because it's easier to see, but you take them and you mold them yourself at home with a cup of basically hot water. All right. The beauty about decibels, they're totally modular as well. So the little cup or, or actual plug that goes in your ear, you get three different sizes of those supplied with the kit. Um, and you also get a set of um, foam ones as well. So if you prefer foam and the foam do provide slightly better sound dampening qualities and you simply push them on the little spigot like that, make sure they're secure and you're good to go. Same again on this side with the little decibels logo. You simply pull this little plug out here. Okay, so this is a blanked off plug. So this is for, you know, if you're using machinery, mowing the lawns, things like that with a constant noise, that's a total block out plug or, or filter if you'd like. I'll talk about the cases in a minute. Right, so these are my go-to. Um, these are the shooting ones with the orange um, plugs on them. So you'll notice here that there's actually a hole, if I can get it to focus, in the end of these orange silicone tips. And the reason for this is the filter that's in this one, or the little plug, also has a little hole in the back. And you'll notice it's different and you can see a little bit of metal on the inside. This is because this is a percussive filter, okay? Essentially what happens is you can hold a, a relatively good normal conversation until there is a loud sound. Now, we all know that sound is essentially just vibration and there's a little percussive filter in there. When a large vibration or shockwave hits that filter, it closes off. 
i.e. the gunshot. No sooner has that sound disappeared, the filter opens itself again. So they also advertise these as being very good for hunting, and I can attest to that. Um, I have rung my ears one too many times hunting without a suppressor, um, completely my fault, but you can still hear a lot of the ambient noises around you. It gives you a lot more situational awareness. Now you can't use those for constant noise environments, like you know, like I said, mowing the lawns, um, machinery, things like that. But they're more for one-off loud sounds. So these are my go-to when I'm at the range. Um, whether it's just you know shooting by myself or with a couple of people or actually being on the range on a club day with lots of shooters on the line, these are my go-to because no doubt you're walking up to the line or walking off and somebody wants to hold a conversation with you. Um, these make life a whole lot easier. They are super comfortable and um, I'm not sure if they still supply the shooting version or the percussive filter version with this little case. But as you can see, you just give it a bit of a squeeze here, opens up, pull your earplugs out, let it go. And that just lives in the um, cargo pocket of the pants I'm wearing on the day. So super compact, nice, easy, couldn't be happier. Doesn't matter if it's a hot, sweaty, sticky day, your ears aren't pouring with sweat, they just feel comfortable. Um, if you're, you know, say at a trap range or something like that, perfect as well. Um, duck shooting um, with friends. You can still hold a conversation and, and, and just talk quietly to each other while you're sitting in the mime or the blind. When you actually need to fire, they're gonna close up, seal and protect your ears. So I've got a new unmolded set here. So I just wanna show you what actually comes with your decibels. So this um, zip up like sort of EVA, semi-hard case is a separate purchase um, or it comes with I believe they call it the pro kit um, like I said this little pouch here used to come with the shooting or the percussive filters not sure if it does um, another fun thing now when I bought mine it only came with the standard percussive filters now they offer them with a lanyard as well so you can just tie them around your neck when you're not using them I prefer to take them out it's less risk of dropping them um, they go in the pocket the pocket gets closed so they give you a nice little um, like microfiber, kind of similar to what your sunglasses come in. Um, little drawstring bag, which is perfectly adequate for the job. In there you get, like I said, two um, foam rubber tips. Now, the other thing with the foam rubber tips, they're not really cleanable. You do have to replace them. I think they recommend every six months for those. Um, they do give you a really good seal. I prefer the silicon tips. Don't have to worry about it. Um, you get some lovely instructions in here about replacement parts. This is the bag with all your different size silicone tips, okay? And then, like I said, the completely blocked off filters. And the main part in here is the actual custom molding earplugs themselves. Um, so I'm gonna crack this open. So as you can see, they are stamped left and right. Hopefully if the camera picks that up. So this is how they start life. Then what you do, you should be a good boy and you read the instructions. Um, <laughs> so they do lots of different things and we'll get to them in a minute. So they do um, acoustic um, tube earpieces for like tube radios. So you can get a, a block out filter, which blocks it out and allows the tube in, or you can get one that's actually a, they call it awareness or pass through. So it allows sound to still come through from that ear as well as coming through the tube radio. So it's a good way if you have to wear a tube radio for your job um, to have that really secure in your ear. Some of the tube radios are terrible. They wanna pull out every two seconds. You turn your head, pop, gone, out, you've lost communication. Um, they do high fidelity filters as well. So musicians um, and, and people who go to a lot of concerts, it keeps all the sound 
um, and the tone's exactly the same, it just drops the volume down. So they're a little bit better than going to a concert with a full set of earplugs where you might lose certain tones. The high fidelity basically allow you to hear everything as you normally would, just at a lower volume. Percussive filters for shooting, like I said, and then just the plain old block out earplugs. Right, so that's the information. So now we get instructions. So I have to say they have done a fantastic job on the instructions. Um, some of us knuckle draggers out there love pictures. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these in hot water for five minutes. You do not put them in the same mug because the two molds will somehow just stick together. Um, and you'll be in trouble. So you do them separately and you don't use the foam tips for molding. So you insert the, the block out filter, you insert the uh, correct size silicone tip for your ear canal and then put them in. If you're not sure on the correct one, they do suggest a medium to start with. You basically either um, boil the kettle or you put cups of water in the microwave, heat them up, drop them in for five minutes, um, scoop them out with a teaspoon, and then you're going to, once they're cool enough to basically touch, you're going to insert them in your ear, and then you want to take your finger and kind of mold around the ear. So that sounds a little scary. You can't screw it up, and even if you do, you put them straight back in the hot water, you get them all soft again and you start all over again. And that's the beauty. You can remold these and remold these and remold these as much as you like. So you want to leave them in once you've kind of molded them to shape for another five minutes. Every 30 seconds, you just want to sort of push when they're in your ear, you just want to push on the back of the filter, just making sure that that is staying in your ear correctly. And basically they cool down and then they set into the shape and they're a reasonably firm plastic. They're not um, sharp or hard on your ears. So the trick when you are molding these, you kind of want to use the flat of your fingers or your thumbs as much as possible rather than actually sticking your nail in because those nail impressions will stay there. Um, and in fact, I think in these, you might even see any old fingernail here and there. So I'm going to show you these red ones for convenience of, of how these look. Now, this is another product from Decibels. It's relatively new. The wireless headphones, Bluetooth. Um, and these, are, they call them safe and sound. So the idea is you can listen to music while still getting your full um, sound deadening. Now, if you bought a set of these and you wanted just to convert them to normal old earplugs, this is the cool thing, modular. Pull the, the headphone filter out Put your plug in, and now you've just got earplugs. So really you can play around with these as much as you like. I'm quite enjoying these, these are quite good. Um, I wouldn't wear these like in a, in a machine shop or in a workshop where you've got you know rotating things that these can get caught up in. Um, you know, not all workplaces would allow you to have um, music playing with earplugs in because it just distracts you from what you're doing. But if you're in an environment where you can, maybe you work in a busy office and you just want to mute out all the other sounds around you um, and listen to some music while you work, good option. And like I said, all day comfort. Like I'll go, you know, three or four days in a row to the range, pretty much leave my earplugs in the entire time, even when there's no shooting going on, because you can kind of hold a normal conversation. I kind of just half the time forget they're in and leave them in. So that kind of covers the molding process. Um, I got a pair of um, Sony, you know, true wireless earbuds, fantastic sound quality. When you're moving around though, they feel like they're about to fall out. And, and on several occasions they have fallen out. Um, you get your nice things that you put in your ears on the ground and they're not so great. Um, the other cool thing is because these do mold up hard, you can just, you know, pull the plugs off and you don't really want to use warm water. You want to use sort of cold, lukewarmish water. You can give them a quick clean, um, throw them back in the case and you're good to go. Couple of disclaimers and things not to do. Don't leave them in the hot car. Um, they will start to melt. 
and if they're inside a case that's a material, they'll start to stick to it. So don't leave them in the car, don't leave them out in the sun. Beyond that, um, they're fantastic. I've never had them like melt on me or do anything crazy in my ears. And like I said, the first set I, I had, probably five years old, still going strong, definitely need a clean. With um, the high fidelity, the percussive filters and, and obviously the headphones, you can't mold with um, those plugs in. So what I suggest you do is you take the standard um, block off filter plug, put them in there for the molding process. Same again, I mentioned it earlier, you can't use the foam tips for the molding process. So set up your silicon tips, um, put in the, the silicon plug, mold them all into shape. Once they've cooled, set, you're comfortable with them, then go ahead and insert um, your headphones or your filters in there and you'll get many, many years of comfortable hearing protection out of them. So until next time, folks, happy shooting. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Catch you next time.